a gorgeous early spring day at the blowing dust area. Gonna do something a little bit different today. I am going to only launch on this new Estes rail system. Vern Estes had a birthday a few months ago and Estes did a 30% off sale, so I grabbed one of them for 30% off. It's actually quite sturdy. This is a pretty nice little deal. So I have only rail launch rockets today. It is a beautiful day here at the blowing dust area. Sun's out, almost no winds, light and variable winds today is the forecast. So I am not gonna be using any shoot releases or dual deploys or anything like that. Nothing's gonna go that high today anyway, but I expect to get almost everything right back. So let's go. Got my doorknob loaded up on this Estes rail. Very cool system. It has a spring load in here and the mount here to hold the rail down. So after you load the rocket on the rail, you put it in place. There's a few different settings here, depending on angle. And then the spring, you push down on the spring, it locks in this piece here, and then you tighten it here and you're ready to roll. My doorknob on an F-15-6. This will be the first one maiden voyage on this Estes rail system. Five, four, three, two, one. Didn't have my foot stomper launch pad today, so. Not a good film of it going up. Zero wind today, really, so it's just coming on down. Flies are watching it too, they like rocketry. I can hear that hit but hardly any of it did. Interesting, but a nice blessing, desert blessing catch of the doorknob. And there is the launch field, so short walk today for this. This is actually an executioner, but I decorated it in honor of a Twilight Zone episode called I Shot an Arrow in the Air. This is Arrow 1. It went up June 15th, 1960 on the episode. And if you haven't seen that episode, check it out. I used a, uh, my wife actually used a Cricut machine to cut out the decals. Vinyl cut, first time going up on a D12-5. Five, four, three, two, one.
clunk on the desert floor. Still smoking a little bit. And that hit hard. As everything does down here, even when you try to stand them up and to knock them down. You never do that on a regular basis, but out here you're just banging them around. <laughs> baby them a little bit and then start flying them and then who cares but yep looks good a north coast bounty hunter this is only the second time i've launched this f42 6t going up today baffled um not much else to say about it just other than I saw Ron on Ron's rockets fly this once and had to have one. So I ordered one and built one. <laughs> just a beautiful little guy. Looks like a heat seeker, one of the old Estes heat seeker missiles, kind of like the same design. Five, four, three, two, one. All right, this shoot's gonna open. Gotta be on the top of this little hill here. Been there before. A little bit of dirt, but no structural damage, doesn't look like. A little bit of rocks. And 48 inch shoot, not enough shoot. This is also heavy, but good flight. Here's the hill. On top of the hill, this bounty hunter landed on and launch area behind it.